the Masters of Public Health program is offered in cooperation with the Johns Hopkins University School of Public Health, Baltimore, USA, and in IIHMR University. It's a two-year program. Uh, the program covers 80 credits, of which around 30 credits are taught by Johns Hopkins faculty and the remaining 50 are taught by the faculty at the IIHMR University. The first year is devoted to coursework and then supported by capstone project. After completing the coursework, the students are required to go for practical. This practicum is carried out at the place of work from where they come or the students can choose a place where they would like to work to gain experience of uh, public health. So it's a experiential learning and documenting what you have learned. There are questions we get from the prospective candidates for admission into the MPH program. Let me tell you this MPH program is world's number, ranked number one program um, offered at Johns Hopkins University. The degree is offered by the Johns Hopkins University and the students can go to Baltimore to attend convocation and receive their degrees. Alternatively, the degree can also be received at the convocation at the HMR University. Essentially, the degree is offered by the Johns Hopkins University. So it has the same credential as the degree given to the students who do MPH on the campus in Baltimore. The students get the benefit of the content and technology, pedagogic approach of typical U.S. university, especially the Johns Hopkins University. We also receive questions on that the fees for MPH program is quite high. Well, I agree with this that $22,000 by Indian standards seems to be quite high. But the fee to be paid at Johns Hopkins when you study on their campus in Baltimore is $66,000 per year. So the fee is just one third for the same degree which is awarded by Johns Hopkins in their Baltimore campus. So with this fees you get an international degree with international job employability and the credentials of the top ranking university in the United States. So fee uh, may be an issue, but compared to what you have to pay in Baltimore, it's just one third of this. And this is this special concessional fee is simply to help the students from the developing and poor countries in Southeast Asia region to build public health capacity in these countries. People also ask a question about the job perspective. What is the employability of the MPH graduates? I wish to share that up till now there are four cohorts of MPH that have passed out and the placement has been 
100%. They are employed by national and international organizations in India and outside India. You can apply for jobs in Africa or for any international job. You can also apply for job in various consulting organizations which are leaders in consulting in healthcare. So the job should not be an issue. It's the issue of getting those skills comparable to any international class. And this is what is offered here. Up till now the students have got job in the government, they have got job in international organizations, they have got jobs um, at other places. And many of the students who graduated here also got admission in the PhD programs. So this is uh, wide open. Uh, the options are there for jobs and especially the students with medical background or MBBS or MD degree and they go for this MPH program, they have additional advantage that they are from the medical world plus they have public health skills. So a preference is definitely there for them. But how much hard work you do and learn, that is the main determinant. So your credentials as a student and your academic performance and your verbal and written communication skills, documentation skills, writing scientifically, that's what is needed for getting a good job. So it's not the degree only, but how well you have performed and what are the attributes that you have developed or the skills you have developed, that matters a lot. Um, there is always a question about the other programs that are offered elsewhere. Like there is one degree called MD, MD, PSM, Preventive and Social Medicine. Now this is a very different degree. This is basically, uh, of course, public health, but this is beyond public health. And this is MD, this is done in three years minimum. And this is offered in the medical colleges. So it's very different than MPH. Now, in comparison to MBA hospital management and health management, where MPH stands, are they similar or different? That's a question very commonly asked. Now, as the name implies health management, MBA health management, MBA hospital management, these courses focus more on management, management of healthcare. So they get managerial jobs in hospitals and in the health systems. MBA hospital management, this is purely for hospitals and first year is common, this is a two year program, so first year is common for health management and hospital management and in the second year there is a specialization courses. So about 13 courses are given in hospital management, purely focused on hospitals and its management. Health management it focuses more on public health skills and other managerial skills that are needed and also a big focus on research in health management. So that's how they are different. The level is very different. MPA, level of MPH, it's a master's degree or an MBA is also a master's degree. But the MPH offered by the John Sarapians is totally a different ball game. It's an international program recognized widely world over as number one program in public health. 
so there is a distinct difference between uh, MPH and MBA. Now there is an advantage for GRE and TOEFL is a prerequisite for admission to MPH as it is a prerequisite in all programs in the United States. Since the admissions are uh, carried out by the Johns Hopkins University, so all criteria are similarly applicable for NPH program. But as a special condition for those candidates who have MBBS degree recognized by Medical Council of India or have MD or have PhD have been exempted from um, GRE and TOEFL requirement. So also an MPH aspirant should have two years work experience but in case of these categories the work experience is also waived though it's very much appreciated if you have experience because knowing systems is very very important so it's a very easy process excellent program globally known it's high credibility you become a preferred person very special person with a PhD degree